Walking is the first step in any beginner's program. Walk around the block. These are all the stairs I have to go up on the daily bus. Walking is the first step in any beginner's program. And walk around the block, walk for five minutes, and then walk up to 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, if you can. If you want, ask a neighbor or a friend to go with you for a walk. And before you know it, you're talking and talking and the time passes. Or have your favorite music on that motivates you. is another form of beginner's workout or any type of workout. Just play ball with the dog or make him follow you around walking or jogging in place and playing with the dog. Chasing your dog or make it move more and make you move more. <laughs> Chasing your dog will make you move more. These are all the stairs I have to go up on the daily basis. You can go up and down steps like two to ten times. Before we go on to toning and sit-ups, I want you to hit the like button and subscribe button to like this video and subscribe to more videos like this. And hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video, which is once a week on Wednesday and then some. All right, I so talked about walking and stair climbing and playing with your dog, but those are forms of cardiovascular exercise. Toning exercise. Now we're gonna talk about toning. Toning your arms, your chest, your legs, you know, your abs, your back. So before we tone and add weight, I want you to have perfect form first. So. Let's just say you join a gym and you're in a class and you know the instructor is doing a lateral shoulder lift which isolates the shoulder muscle and she's using eight pound weights. Don't use eight pound weights. I recommend you start off with no weights at all, get the feel of the movement and perfect form and then you can add weights like three pounds, five pounds. Remember, if you never exercise the five pounds, even three pounds are gonna be heavy for you. But I'd rather you start out with no weights until you get it down pat and then add the weights. And also modification. So let's just say push-ups. Ideally, a push-up can be done with your legs extended, with your knees bent, and off the wall. And down, down, down. Now we're going to do a wall push-up, which I recommend at first. Build up the strength to do it for 
drawing feet shoulder width apart or a little bit further. And your hands are shoulder width apart or a little bit further. And you're not directly on the door. Your feet are back. And one, two. Three push-ups, two are modified. So make sure to do the modified push-ups if you can't do the full press up. Many older people or disabled people gotta do it off the knees or off the walk. They no longer can do it straight legs out. But if you can, by all means do it. But don't be afraid to modify. There's always a modification. Um, let's say you go to the gym, you ask your instructor, what's your modification of an exercise? Or she usually gives the modifications. So don't worry about that. But no weights until perfect form exists in your world. Sit-ups, make sure your back is flat and not arched when you're doing a sit-up. And do as many as you want up until a thousand. I hope this video helped you and if you have any questions put them in the comment and want to get in touch with me um, email me. I hope this video helped you and if you like more like this comment below or give it a thumbs up and let me know what else to talk about when it comes to exercise and have a nice day. Bye!